Hey y'all, so <clears throat> just want to make a video to talk about something that I realized over the weekend. Um, <clears throat> I was camping up in Herman Island, Maine, which is right on the coast of Maine. The campground is pretty much just a bunch of beaches um, all connected by the little campground island. Um, now, growing up, I hated the beach. Hated it. I hated going to it. I hated. I hated how many people were there. I hated wearing a bathing suit. I just. I hated everything about going to the beach. I, I dreaded when my friends wanted to go on beach trips. I hated when my family wanted to go on beach trips. I just. I wanted nothing to do with the beach. I hated it. And I always thought that I just wasn't a beach person. I just assumed that because I had always. <laughs> if you hear noise in the background, it's Ezra. He's chasing around this little cap. It's actually pretty cute. I don't know how well you can see him in this lighting because he blends in, but that's that's him. He's taking after Johnny quite well, uh, being noisy when I'm trying to make videos. As I don't even know where he found this little green cap, but he's been doing this for like half an hour, which was nice because it did my shot and he didn't bother me because he was obsessed with this little plastic thing. Anyway, I realized this weekend that I actually really like the beach. And that my hatred of the beach stemmed from a hatred of my body. And the fact that I didn't like people seeing my body because I didn't like my body. And now I go to the beach and I'm like proud of myself and I love... <laughs> Ezra! Seriously? Anyway, I'm proud of my body and I feel so comfortable like going in the water. And going swimming and just walking around and just being me that I just like have never felt that way at the beach before. It's a big deal for me because my friends were like, didn't you hate the beach? And I'm like, I love the beach now. Um, Ezra, I'm going to murder you. Baby, what are you doing? Let's see. Here's the child. And this is what he's playing with. I have it right here. Can you hear him purring? <laughs> um, okay, baby. You can go play, but you just have to be quieter. It's down there. Go get it. Anyway, I realized that my, my hatred of the beach was because I hated my body and because of the dysphoria I felt in my body and not because I actually hate the beach. So I'm really excited now. That was my first time going to the beach in probably like at least three years, probably more. If I think about it, I don't even know the last time I went to the beach. The last time I can remember is like 2013, but I think I went in between then, but I just don't remember it. Um, yeah, maybe 2014. I think 2014. So at least three or four years since I went to the we're back on the hardwood floor. <laughs> Kittens. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm excited about the future beach trips I can go on now because I just feel comfortable in my own skin finally. And I, I never thought that my hatred of the beach was anything other than hating the beach. So that was a cool realization for me to just like be able to reclaim the beach as something new and fun for me. Um, I'm like the only person, me, I went swimming both days, it, it was hotter. One of the days it rained. But of the three beach days, I went swimming two of them. And no, like, Lindsay joined me one time and my sister joined me one time, but nobody else. So I was just like, I'm going to go in. I went all the way in. Like, I'm talking underwater. And it was so awesome. I f forgot how much I... I liked that part of the ocean when I was in the water and no one could see me. I didn't like the rest of it where I have to lay on the beach and everyone sees me. So anyway, curious if any of you guys have experienced that if you're post-op surgery now and realizing that you like an activity that you used to hate um yeah anyhow um and now i've got the jingling ball he's literally just like johnny the other night he was sleeping in johnny's chair and i literally cried so anyhow um hope you guys are having a great week and uh we'll talk to you next time